one of South Africa's leading alternative rock groups, No Friends of Harry, recently released their debut album, One Came Running. Formed less than two years ago, this band has already created a massive cult following. A member of the band, Rob McLennan, is also responsible for all the lyrics. This self-confessed Jim Morrison fan believes that sincerity on their part will rub off on the audience. On keyboards and guitar is Ian Wiggins, who hails from Birmingham. He feels that having the doll would allow musicians to be original rather than forcing them into playing commercial sounds. Dave DeVetta started off as a drummer, but soon found the bass guitar to be his forte. Band should play simpler music, he says, in a pensive moment. It's very often more effective. On drums, Annette McLennan has a straightforward musical philosophy. Play to enjoy, which is exactly what she does. Graffiti spoke to prominent members of the music industry about No Friends of Harry. Once upon a time, long ago, I received this cassette on demo tape. Uh, the band called No Friends of Harry. So I opened this thing up and I looked at it and I thought, ah, just another band put it in my cassette and played it. It was amazing, really something totally different. It never, it, it, it never had that South African sound, you know. It had something like to do with the UK. So I thought, oh, well, let's give it a spin. The phone went absolutely crazy in the studio, kept on playing it, and um, they cracked number one on the Radio 5 alternative charts. I think that there seems to be a new awakening in what's happening in South African music at the moment. Uh, there seems to be like a lot of new energy and a lot of new effort coming from the record companies, which we haven't seen for quite some time. I think the effort that Principal in particular are putting behind this band is, is pretty exciting. Uh, for There's been a, quite a lull in the local record industry and uh, the backup that uh, No Friends of Harry are getting I think is well deserved and hopefully it'll uh, take them to places that they haven't been before. It's an alternative market which everybody sort of feels is totally different but there's a huge following for this and uh, I think it was time to, to regenerate and move into a different aspect of the South African local music scene. Sorry about last year February we saw Dave playing in a charity concert and uh, we liked the way he looked we didn't know if he could play bass guitar though. but uh, we had a jam and it worked very well together the whole thing about it is that the four of us can really work well together and Barney the skin Simon introduced me to no friends of Harry uh, one Sunday night I went to his studio he was playing a uh, long way home I thought it was amazing it sounded like very very early stranglers and when he said it was a local band I couldn't believe it no friends of Harry is, is really heading this whole movement. Their sound is exciting, their whole marketing deal is exciting, and they, they're really offering the people something else to listen to. Alternative music needn't be bad, and, and uh, No Friends of Harry is living proof of that. Alternative music is a very sort of uh, misused term. Um, we play what we enjoy, we play what we feel comfortable playing. They're watching you, babe. How does that make see? Friends of Harry's brand of alternative music, so often mistaken for an overseas sound, should be around for a long, long time. One Came Running is definite proof of that. 